Hi, it's Dwyer. It is Friday, May 28th, 2021. DigitalAssetLife.com, a free site. GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site. Let's talk crypto, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me also point out that nothing in this video should be construed as investment advice. What I want each of you to do is your own independent investigation as well as consultation with the financial professional of your choice, right? Your investment decisions should be your own. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Now, in the comment section of this video, I have put a link to what could be a life-changing video that I received from Max Wright. That's Wright spelled with a W. W-R-I-G-H-T. I don't know Max personally, but he is a crypto enthusiast who I follow. And he has talked about one of those rare game-changing altcoins that you don't see that often. And I've been in the space for several years, right? He's talking about a coin called ThorChain. And the first four letters are capitalized. T-H-O-R, all caps, chain, right? What this coin does, and it's a breakthrough, is it allows users to set up and profit from decentralized liquidity protocols. Right now, that might sound like a mouthful, but in layman's terms, for those of you who get a rate of return by lending your coins to outfits like BlockFi or Celsius, and I'm a customer of both, right? Just understand that cryptocurrency now allows you to disintermediate them. Using this coin, which allows you to exchange coins in their native coin. In other words, no more need for wrapped Bitcoin or pegged Bitcoin. Right now, if I have Bitcoin, I can literally exchange it for Ethereum. I can exchange it for Cardano, right? What this coin enables users to do in a decentralized fashion is to set up a liquidity pool and to literally hold on to their coins but to make the coin also available in the liquidity pool where they can then get interest on the coin. Not from BlockFi or Celsius or Nexo, but from the liquidity protocol. And of course, if you want, you can use the liquidity pool to convert without a centralized exchange, Bitcoin into Ethereum, etc. Right, folks, this is a game changer that's very hard to fully explain in a short YouTube video. But this is a major breakthrough in the space. Understand too, that it's gonna make it much harder, and I mean much harder, for regulators to regulate cryptocurrency because you no longer will have a single point of reference. In other words, if I have assets on BlockFi, a regulator can look at BlockFi's records to figure out the transactions I've done on BlockFi. If I have assets on Kraken, or a centralized exchange, right? Binance.us. 
Uncle Sam, or whatever you call your government, can look at Kraken's records and can see the transactions that I've engaged in. How can you do that when you're dealing with a decentralized liquidity pool? Which is what ThorChain allows. In other words, now, let's just say you and your neighbors have a pool, right? Other investors have a pool. And I can get a rate of return by just making my coins available to that pool. And then, of course, when I want my coins back, I can say, you know, Bitcoin isn't the best means of exchange. Why don't I get my coins back in Dash or some other coin that clears quickly that I can buy a coffee with? Right. Understand, too, what we understand about cryptocurrency is about to change. Because if you could seamlessly, using a decentralized liquidity pool, through Thor, ThorChain's decentralized liquidity protocol, if you could seamlessly convert out of Bitcoin at any time to any other coin that suits your purpose better than the criticisms of Bitcoin as being too slow as a means of exchange are mitigated. So the cryptocurrency, it's called ThorChain, but the coin itself is Rune. It's R-U-N-E. Again, it's R-U-N-E. And just to understand, we're not talking about a coin that's way outside of the top 100 coins in terms of market cap in the cryptoverse. No, folks, we're talking about a coin that quickly has already entered the top 50 in market cap in the cryptoverse. Once people understand the capability, once they understand the importance of a decentralized liquidity protocol. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Once Please try a little later. Once they understand, which my Alexa clearly does not, once they understand that ShapeShift is already built using the ThorChain protocol so that on ShapeShift you can exchange Bitcoin for Ethereum without a centralized exchange, it's all decentralized, then I believe users are going to flock to this coin the market cap, which has already been excellent for users, could go exponential. By the way, today I always try to do videos on down days. I don't want to look like I'm riding a wave. Today, Rune is down more than 10%. Just to understand where it is right now in the top 50 in terms of market cap, in my opinion, is just a small portion of where it's ultimately headed. I'm usually not this enthusiastic about any particular cryptos, right? I'll be someone who criticizes Ethereum and will point out that Cardano is soon going to be a competitor, that some cryptos are duplicative. Folks, ThorChain, again, the coin is Rune, R-U-N-E is singular, right? This, to me at least, is a rare opportunity to get in early on a technology, decentralized liquidity protocol, that's gonna grow, in my opinion, exponentially. So again, do your own research. This is not financial advice. What I'm doing on gate.io, right? A site that's legal, for 48 of the 50 states in the United States. I believe if you're from Washington State and New York State, there are restrictions, but not if you're in the other 48 states. Do your own research on that, double check me. But on gate.io, you can pick up 
4 chain. The coin is Rune, R-U-N-E. And I'll be surprised if this coin isn't one of the best performers in all of crypto by the end of the year. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Again, do your own independent research. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Folks, I've picked up some room. Thank you for stopping by.